old girls taking hot water. Cape York, the most iconic ball drive destination on the planet. It's, uh, I am mostly flooded. This is gnarly. This is the worst I've ever seen it. This place is known for truck swallowing challenges, roof deep water, bottomless mud, and swimming holes that are out of this world. This is what the telly is all about. You can't tell. I froth on this stuff. This is as good as it gets. A place so wild and so tough. See ya. You really need a four wheel drive with all the fruit. But where's the fun in that? That's right, the farm truck and the G60 are taking on the old tally track. We've got two of the best looking rigs in Queensland right now. 12th time, done the tally, first time. I've camped directly on the track. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime. Yeah, this is pretty wild, mate. This, is, this might be the wettest I think I've ever seen Cape York. A journey to the Cape always means a few last minute repairs and modifications. And this trip is no exception. We've practically taken over the workshop at Off The Wall in Cairns as we get some classic old rigs ready for the ultimate showdown on Australia's most iconic track. Now, a bit different this trip. You can see here I've got a fine piece of automotive history above me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Far out. I've heard it all, folks. I've heard it all. You said an important thing, mate. Yep. Get on the road. Yes. You're on the hoist at the moment. Yeah, when I lower it down, I'll be very close to the road. <laughs> Just well, one final check over here. How are you looking? I'm looking pretty good, mate. I've got a couple of minor tweaks as well. <laughs> it's, it's always, I think this whole trip's going to have some minor tweaks the whole way through, but I'm very How excited, mate. Though, mate. We've got 50 years old. How old's yours? Mine's about 37, 38 years old. There you go. We've got like 80 odd years 40. worth of uh, four wheel drive history right I here. Know. It really is Australian history, these trucks. Yeah. And we are about to take them to the very most northern point in, well, we're going to hope to, yeah. take them right up to the very most northern point in Australia. Doing a final check over of a rig this old is risky in itself because there's always more problems to find. But with everyone on the tools, we've soon made it happen. And we are ready to push north. Cheers, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's all right, dude. Right, take your, here we go. The 800k drive from Cairns up to the start of the old telly is an adventure in itself, winding its way through the heart of far north Queensland and towards the adventure playground that is Cape York. You can always tell what kind of trip you're in for by the state of the road heading out to the Cape. And this year, the water and mud is everywhere. At last, we make it to Bramwell Station. And the old telly is right ahead. This is a track that is on the bucket list of every Aussie four-wheel driver. And I can't wait to see how the old G60 fares. Boy, Sean, I have a go at the sign. Right here, mate. Look at this sign. This is what it's all about, mate. The most iconic track in Australia with a couple of icons themselves, mate. The big G60 and the farm truck. Really been looking forward to this trip. I think for years, mate. I'm frothing on it. I don't know how the big girl's going to go, but I know this for a fact. We're going to have fun. Exactly right, mate. And if worst comes to worst, just attach it to the back of the farm truck and I'll get you the tip. Don't worry about that. Mate, I'll, uh, I'd rather take it apart bit by bit and carry it to the top if it takes that. <laughs> The old telly is peppered with water crossings, just like this one. And right out of the gate, it's looking pretty deep. <laughs> Look at that, the water on the feet, there we go. I might be driving the G60, but I've got the ultimate support vehicle for this trip, with Jesse taking the wheel of the Isuzu D-Max. Our mate Ruben joins us in his beast of a rig that needs no introduction. The Monster Y62, which is back in action after a couple of rough trips. Next in the convoy is B-Double Bailey, sporting his mint new project car, an LS swapped 80, as well as the newest lightweight camper trailer from Maverick in tow. And last but not least is a 79 series you couldn't miss from a mile away driven by Brendan from TJM. Now, this weapon of a rig has been kitted out with all the latest TJM gear, and we can't wait to see how it tackles the tracks. The telly starts in earnest just a few k's into the track, with a formidable point of no return, the huge drop into Palm Creek. Once you send your rig down this bad boy, <laughs> there's no going back, and this year, well, it's looking pretty darn hectic. This is pretty exciting. This is arguably the toughest challenge of the whole telly track. Graham's up first in the G60 and conditions this year are pretty darn wild. Very steep, bit offset as well. <laughs> what you see about on great idea. Yeah, mate. How's your brakes? I don't have any. <laughs> like, you know this thing in brakes. Like, it literally doesn't have any, so. What I was stoked about is you're going first today. 
I'm not even scared, eh? I wouldn't be. No, I'm not. I'm always wet in the seat like that, or? This is going to leak. This thing's got a terrible leak. No, I, I won't lie, I'm a Good little luck. nervous, but... um. You should be right. Yeah, can you just line it up? Line yeah. us up a little bit? All right. Sean, don't line me up, though. That's as sketchy as it gets. Pretty good on that? Yeah, yeah. you'll be right. What does that mean? I don't know, mate. We'll just have a go. I'll let you know at the bottom if you've done well or not. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm already moving. <laughs> yeah, I've got some brakes. Oh, this doesn't. You wait till about another half a car length. Yep, that's it. Good line, mate. Good line. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, no, I've got a bit more. Oh. See ya. Oh, good luck. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wowzers. No. Nah. Didn't work out well, did it? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy heck! <laughs> That's remarkably steep! <laughs> the back went in the air. Oh, no. I just fell like. You drive, drive out of that, you'll be right. Uh, no, I can smell petrol, so we might need to move. <laughs> this entry has always been pretty steep, but this year it's particularly gnarly, and I'm stuck fast on that front bar. So I reckon I can winch out of this, no troubles. We didn't expect this, we actually thought he was going to drive this, so we're a little bit underprepared. We should have, we should have known Nissan going first, going to be full of dramas. The main issue is that on the way down, my front tyres started turning towards the right bank, and getting them to straighten out, well, it's a heck of a challenge. Come on. Woohoo! There we go. He's coming. Need much, eh? He's coming. Left, left, left. That's as hard as I can get it. Left, left, left. More left. Can you do left? Nah, not at all. Okay. You're driving into the bank. And the more you winch, the harder it's going to be. Do you want us to hold the remote while you double handle the wheel? In he gets. <laughs> welcome, mate, welcome. I've hitchhiked before, but it's never been that hard, never to, been get that hard to get in. <laughs> Oh, you just drive here, Graham. Oh, I'll drive from here. Yeah, stop there, probably. Cape York, she's an absolute hoot. You gotta love it. I've got a few days on this track. Something tells me this could turn into a bit of an epic. Well, first obstacle, first day, Cape York 2022. I can improve on that. <laughs> I just hope the farm truck doesn't drive it. I've got to say, after watching Graham's go, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I don't want to alarm you. Um, it's really sketchy. Yeah, you looked it. Yeah. You fell like a rock. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Are you alright? Did you get whiplash or anything? No, I think I was too scared to get whiplash. <laughs> Fear conquers all. Far out, it is. Steep. It is. It's really steep. Like, oh. you're just a passenger. Oh, here we go. Oh, I wouldn't do it, it like why that, does though. start off so scary. I wouldn't do it like that. You sure that's the line you want? It's definitely the line. Oh, you're crazy. No, that's a good line. That's a good line. Oh, bugger. Stay out! Oh. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yes! Toyota <laughs> won on the first challenge, Nissan Zero. Did you expect anything else, folks? Uh, you have to improve. I oh, know! Toyota just had to Oh no! <laughs> oh, so much disappointment in my life right now. <laughs> Give me one more chance! How many events have you got? Unbelievable. Around the campfire tonight. Yeah, run us through it again, I'll, 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 I'll have a few tips on the line for you. Might improve the old oh, driving no. style. Here we go. Jesse and the D-Max. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> Might just give him a little pep talk. I don't know if I want four some you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we are. Well, then you're on your own. <laughs> go on, get down there. Oh. Perfect. Absolute perfect. Steep yeah. little boy. Oh, how good it breaks! Yeah! Must be nice. Must be lovely to stop there! <laughs> well, he's even put the clear views in. Bonus points. We're going, we're going! Oh, oh he's got it! He's yeah, got it! Oh, yeah. damn it! <laughs> oh. Just like that. Just Can like that. Can someone just cook it? Oh. Ruben is going to be the next rig down this one and that Y62 is wide. 
I mean, really wide. There's every chance that we're going to dent the everything on this one, but Jesse has a plan. Now, my concern is that the Nissan is so wide that it's barely going to fit down. Now, the D-Max did a little bit of panel damage to the door because the mirror is actually pushed in. It's that tight. So we're going to build this side of the track up so hopefully it doesn't lean into the bank as much. That's the theory, but it's still going to be a very tight squeeze, if it even fits. Steer a little bit to your right, Ruben. Yeah, just that. That's it. Perfect. Here we go. Real gentle. That's good. That's good. That's perfect. Keep coming at that. Keep coming. Beautiful. The max tracks are working great. Tiny bit of right hand down, Ruben. Tiny. Yeah, that's good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're nearly at the bottom. If you've ever had a bloke to spot you through a tough bit of track like this, you'd want it to be Jesse. And just like that, the Y62 is squeezing through. Beautiful, mate. Well, well done. done. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, mate. <laughs> the really work. Held up. <laughs> Spotting legend. It goes to show. When you've got decent brakes, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. I would have loved brakes. <laughs> I had none. Right. I had none. Well, this is going to be this is going to be interesting to watch. Yeah. Bailey with the trailer, yeah. I reckon. I, I think we're going to have to winch him. To say I'm nervous is an understatement. First big real challenge for the new rig. Perfect. Holy! That's a ticket. Double slow. Oh! Crikey! Oh, yes! Yes! That was easy! Easy done, mate. Wouldn't expect Beautiful. anything else from an 80 series. Last vehicle down is a 79, and again, this is the first real test for a new vehicle. But Brendan looks like he's got the measure of this one. Crikey, not mucking around. Loved it. Loved nice. it all day and twice yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, he's done it. Nice. Yeah, well done. Oh, that's a mirror. Not even a touch. Perfect. Good drive. Go oh, clear you still work too. How's that? Awesome. Land Cruiser's 100 percent right now, even towing and trailers is unbelievably embarrassing. It's not, it's early days. Oh, oh. It's early days. Getting into Palm Creek is one thing, but getting out is quite another. And on the other side of the creek is the real challenge of Palm. A slippery rutted climb back onto level ground. Well, Cape York changes every single year. This year's no exception. Really muddy, really rutted out. Just super wet as well. The wettest I've probably ever seen Cape York. Graham's up first, so can't wait to give it to him, but in his defense, I don't think anyone will drive this. This is really, really tough stuff. Here we go. Whoa, get out. There's a thing in here. <laughs> Go, go! It's all flexed out. That's a big log there, eh? That's like hitting a brick wall! Yeah, go, go, go! Now yeah, back this way. No. Yeah. We need to get that log out, eh? This log looks like something put down last season to help vehicles get through, but right now, it's making for a huge roadblock. Sean tries putting it back in the rut to make a ramp, but with no lockers, there's only so far I can get on this one. Well, that's a pretty good effort. I mean, this is gnarly. This is the worst I've ever seen it. The boys are all over it, and soon the Runva is hooked up and the G60 is on its way up. A couple of resets later, and I'm through. Well done, the G60's nice. been redeemed. Winch truck. <laughs> yeah, winch truck live, you did well. That's actually hard work up there. It is, yeah. The old farm truck, 50 years old and still going strong. <laughs> Which I can say the same for me. Right, <laughs> <laughs> wish me luck. Now, this is actually the farm truck's second crack at the old telly track. But this year, things are a lot more wet and the 47 ends up pulling up in about the same Run spot up. as the G60. Oh, oh. Not bad. That'll loop. I'm happy with that. A couple of front tyres up, that's all I can ever hope in the big farm truck. Once again, the Runver is out and working hard. Yeah, it's going, it's just doing a massive play out of the bull bar. Back this way a bit now, yeah, beautiful. Big winch for the farm truck. You each is smoking. Is that's, that's, out, that's out it was working. That's right, mate. We don't do things by halves. <laughs> I think it's more earthy than you, would I? Okay, 
Let's see how Jesse goes. That'll do, donkey. What do you think, mate? You make it as far as the farm truck. I think the farm yeah. truck actually got the wheels over. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's yeah. what I thought. I didn't want to, didn't want to point out the obvious, but yes, he's got, he's got a little bit to go. He's doing all right for a young bloke, getting yeah, in the forward but he's having he, fun. Isn't it? That's the main thing. I'm just stoked that he can hang around, you know, <laughs> two of his favourite people. Yeah. Teach him along the way. This is Good the best way him. to learn, to just get out Good there and him. have a go. We'll show him what a girl looks like soon too. <laughs> this climb is probably one of the hardest challenges going in Cape York. And just like the old rigs, the D-Max is in for a hard run to the top. Whoa! Yeah, I can see that happening. That scared me. Oh, bugger. Doing a bead is always a possibility on steep winches like this, but fixing it while the D-Max is taut on a winch line isn't the safest option, so we're going to just carefully get it to the top first. Just uh, cleaning the mud out of the bead here so we can try and hold a bit of pressure on it and pump it back up, but you've got to make sure it's really clean, otherwise uh, any bit of dirt caught in there, they're still going to leak out. And the same thing's going to happen. While Jesse sorts out that front tyre, Ruben is lining up all horses for a crack at the top. I'm nervous and excited all in the same sentence. I reckon Ruben's not going to hold back on this, so I just hope that nothing goes bang. Just about the same as the farm truck. I was about to say. The truth will work out if the farm truck got through or not. It's hard to tell from this angle. <laughs> turn it up, turn it up. Well, it's a pretty darn good effort, but Ruben isn't satisfied and wants to give this one one more crack. Yep. I'll be able to win you that spot. Ruben's given it everything here, but Palm Creek will just not give in. Well, I'll tell you what. I am stoked to say that I own one of them. The noise that comes out of that, if you're a bloke watching this and that doesn't just make you feel all wooey inside, then I'll tell you what, go and check yourself. <laughs> That's cool. With these winch extension straps, you can double them up. They're just like winch ropes. So we've got two here. We've got one at full length, one at half length. That's the perfect way just to winch in a straight line now. So that'll put a lot less stress on the winch and uh, should make it really easy for him. The Y62 is a big rig, but slowly and surely, it's on its way up. Wasn't that a mission? <laughs> it's been a long day since we left Cohen this morning, and the light is starting to run out. Bailey's up next, and with camper in tow, we're going to try for a different line out of the creek. Well, Bailey's taken the sensible option here, and he's having a crack at the B line on the, uh, as you're looking at it, right hand side of Palm Creek. Once back in 1942, I actually drove this in Shorty, but since then, this thing just gets washed out every year. Look, I've got to be honest with you, I don't think he's going to drive it, but he's doing the right thing. It's a much easier winch to get him up and out of here. Oh, yeah, nice entry. Here we go. Nice and smooth. That's, That's it. it. Is too new. Ooh, go back done. and give it another go. On first glance, this line looks a little more achievable than the other, but appearances can always be deceiving. Yeah, beautiful. Jesse is trying to guide the big 80 up a hard left line and avoid that big overhang, but it almost goes pear-shaped. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's winch him. Once again, Palm Creek has just said no, and it's out with a run -ver. It's all happening around here. We've got one more vehicle to go. She's no easier, this obstacle. It's not gotten any easier with vehicles up it, but uh, big 79. Let's punt her up here and see how she goes. Brendan has a lot of experience when it comes to tough wheeling. And on his first crack, the big 79 is almost over that first hump. Get out of here. Oh. Very close. Go back and give it a bump. Come on, you got this. One for the Toyotas. Oh, no. Wheel it once and for all. What am I saying? Mate, that's awesome. I can't believe it. What? That is oh. one for the ages. 
We're just gonna bring the big Y62 in and place it right here, right above the challenge so that we get a perfect direct line pull, just so that we can get into camp in the next 10 minutes and have a cold beer. <laughs> Using our heads. Very cool. That was an almighty effort and pretty good way to round out the first big challenge of the tally. Hey! <laughs> With night well and truly on us, we're going to camp right here. And soon everyone's found a spot and camp is springing up. Well, this is the 12th time I've done the tally. First time, the first time I've camped directly on the track. <laughs> This year, something tells me we are in for the most epic tally adventure we've ever had. A lot more water coming in. Even on the PDR coming up today, the water was insane. The boys having a blast up the back. This is what the tally is all about. And we are literally 10 metres from the, one of the most iconic obstacles on the tally track. If you can't tell, a froth on this stuff. This is as good as it gets. And just like that, our first day on the old tally is done and dusted. All that's left now is to kick back Crack a cold one and get a hot meal on the go. How good is this? The old tally, Cape York. I know it's on everyone's bucket list. You're all thinking right now, I've got to do this one day. Ruben's cooking up some feed. We'll just have some fish down here, folks. This is the tally track. We're camped on it tomorrow. My favourite part. We start to get towards gunshot, but for now, we're going to have an early night, a couple more beers. Catch you folks in the morning. There you go, legends. Hope you're enjoying the show. Now it's competition time. If you want to win a set of really awesome custom embroidered canvas seat covers, now is your chance. Now, if you look at my seat covers, they say dirty 30 on them. Now, I've got them especially done for my vehicle from the guys down at Razorback. You can win your very own set of XP7s. Now, all you need to do in the comments below, let us know what type of vehicle you drive and what you'd have custom embroidered into your seat cover. So, dirty 30's already taken. Come up with something nice and original and um, let us know in the comments below. One person is going to get a really good quality set of Razorback XP7 seat covers custom embroidered for your vehicle. The telly truck is always full of unexpected surprises, but this is the first time a fan ourselves literally camped on the track. We've got some iconic challenges on the cards today, including Gunshot Creek. And there's a few rigs that have never been down it. One of which is the TJM 79. Morning, mate. How are you? Good, mate. Good. Excellent, mate. Have you got any new scratches on this thing or what? Mate, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it got up that hill pretty much unscathed. I think I might have just nicked a corner, but... That's unreal. This thing is so capable, mate. I reckon one of the most capable vehicles in the convoy. It looks mean on the tracks, but more importantly, very practical as well, this build. The big thing with this vehicle is that we've made it not only a real capable off-roader, but it's completely off-grid. Mm. You know, we've got solar, fridge, you know, all the power on board. You know, we can spend 10 days off-road and exactly have an right. absolute blast. You've got a capable vehicle that you can live out of for weeks at a time, and the whole thing's been built in-house at TJM. In-house at TJM, mate, and you know, look, these guys can customise it to whatever you want. You know, yeah. there's so many products available, and as you can see, it works very, very well, very it's, capable. I'm not going to lie to you, it's one of the best-looking 79s I've ever seen, and the fact that it's so capable as well gets me very excited, because <laughs> the rest of the Teletrack sort of goes into a lot of you got some really technical sections, yeah. some deep water crossings, and yeah. I think this thing is going to be in its element. Yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it for a swim, mate, I can tell you that. <laughs> With the crossings just getting deeper, the further you get along the telly, it pays to keep stuff you want to keep dry up high, or behind some decent seals. Having neither of those options on the G60, I'm going to put my swag up on top of the Maverick boat rack. All right, old girl, come on. Yeah, everyone has just a bit of a false start in the morning. Listen to that. Like a well-oiled machine. It's been a late wet season this year and water is just about everywhere. In a few months, much of this will be a dry, dusty track. But right now, the rivers are pumping. All right, I don't know 
how deep this is. to be tricky, I think, in this car. Oh, now, it's nice of Jesse to be gentle on my gear, but in this case, it's left him hung up. <laughs> this is going to ruin my reputation. Oh, off yesterday, <laughs> and now today. I'm looking after it too much. I should have just sent it in. Four wheels aren't even in the creek and I'm stuck. Whoops, we're taking on some water down there. Tell you what, you let a bloke borrow your car and this is what you get. <laughs> Going through that water crossing. Look, it's a little bit deep, nothing too crazy, but some of the boys reckon they've seen little bits of uh, fan blade. And um, me knowing this vehicle, I know it's notoriously quite weak, that fan blade, it flexes a lot, but I didn't think I've broken it just yet. I'll soon find out anyway. Oh, yep, no, that's, that's, that's my, my fan blade. It's, um, look at this, three blades are broken off it. I just thought they only make kids' toys out of plastic, but seems they make <laughs> toy parts we go. as well, mate. It'll be fine, I think. What I'm going to do, though, this is um, I'm going to probably tie the fan blade up during water crossing, so basically it won't flex again and go through the radiator. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. All right, well, we'll be right until we go to another water crossing, and then I'll tie it up. Flexi section come up here. 1970 spring technology about to come into its own here. That's as much fun as you can have with your clothes on. I'm surprised you still got them on, mate. It's pretty sweet in that cap. <laughs> oh, look at the flex. What a weapon. What an absolute weapon. Like a cop truck on splitties. Even in an old truck like this, the Formula Shockies made for a comfy ride. Well, as comfy as the old farm truck can get. Grab that before it slides off the dash. <laughs> This track might be best known for its northern crossings, but the southern half of the telly track is really just non-stop fun, with plenty of challenges to keep you occupied. Soon we've made it to the next notable crossing of the track, Birdie Creek. In my opinion, this part of the telly offers some of the best camping on the track. But this time round, we've got a date with Gunshot, so we're gonna keep moving. Although first, we gotta actually get there. <laughs> He's cooked it. A bit more tricky than it looks, that. <laughs> Very yeah. soft. Super soft. I might have to give that a bit more bunty. Yeah, a lot more. Oh, well steered. Look at that. <laughs> Most points for sound. Oh, don't you love it with a V8 power? Speaking of power, the old Maverick 80 is no slow poke either. Yeah! Give it a real drive. Now, it's this time of the year that we get pretty excited because the Melbourne Football Drive Show is just around the corner. And it's also your last chance to take advantage, get your tickets online and save a stack of cash. So I'll make it really easy for you. Jump onto the website, we'll put the link below, and when you get to the checkout after ordering your tickets, use the promo code fourwheeldrive247. It's gonna be a really cool show. I know Graham and myself are gonna be down there. Um, we might even bring a couple of rigs with us as well. So. 
the biggest show in my opinion of the whole entire year and an absolute cracker. I'll see you down there. If there's a challenge that defines Cape York, it's Gunshot Creek. Every season brings new lines and new challenges, and this year is no exception. The farm truck did it last year, and that means Graham and the G60 have got some pretty big shoes to fill. Oh well, mate, we're here again. Gunshot, the here mighty, we are. The mighty gunshot. And you know the best thing about it is you're first. I have no brakes, you know this. Zero. None. It's very scary. So 47 year old vehicle, no brakes, no power <laughs> steering. Not very often, but in the old farm truck, I've got better brakes than someone in the car. Exactly. I'll make a little challenge for you. Go. No girly noises when you're in the seat coming down. Already failed. <laughs> <laughs> I made one as I pulled up just up there. I'm gonna try and do the old free fall, whack it into first, right. drive yep. through this puddle, out, high five, crack a beer, <laughs> set up camp. You're Meet right. the locals. <laughs> we'll see how we go. You can tell I'm nervous because I'm talking a lot. <laughs> how about we just get stuck into it? Here we go. Oh, Lordy, Mama. Here goes nothing. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm worried about? What? My airbags might go off. All right, this is the moment. There's no real return from here. You are right, mate? Steer, left, left, left. Oh, he's going to roll. I thought I had it. Nah, she not going, boys. Yeah, I oh, know. It's just that impact at the beginning. I'm pretty much hung up between my front and rear bars, and the Runva is the only thing that's going to get me out of this one. <laughs> How good's that? He's done it. He's gone down gunshot, and to be honest, he actually done it pretty well. The vehicle sort of slowly and pretty methodically went down. The best thing, though, is that front bar has just pushed a stack of mud out of the way, so I might have half a chance of driving this in the old farm truck. <laughs> Sean's learned his lesson, and this time he's taking some pre-precautions. I've done this a few times now, and every single time, without a doubt, I'm bloody nervous. Make no mistake, this is a big drop. Oh, <laughs> sketchy. Oh. How's those brakes? Is there? Yeah, it's what I slid into. There's a lot of mud where the winch is though, like. That's what could be the problem. She's right in the mud, eh? Oh, it's right, like, under. Like, oh. your lights are just above the water. For those following along at home, keeping score, this might look like one all. It's actually not one all. Sean I got down to here and now he's buried his vehicle so deep in the mud, can't even get his winch out. I managed to winch out within a couple of seconds, so I'm calling this a win <laughs> for Team Nissan. At this stage, a win for Team Nissan. We've still got a few more coming up. We actually have to get you out of here. You're really buried, bro. After a lot of digging, we finally found the free spool and can get the 47 on its way. All right, that was actually pretty stuck. There's a, yeah, there's no lip there anymore. <laughs> and how's that? The two old jiggers have made it through. What a rig. Jesse's got the winch spooled out with plenty of rope. Let's see how the D-Max handles it. Oh, brakes must be nice. <laughs> I'm not used to brakes either. <laughs> See ya. Oh, the airbags really came on. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jesse did the right thing prepping his winch rope, but the angle is so extreme that we've lost it in the mud. You saw what happened to the farm truck and you go and pull this one on us, mate. <laughs> All the winches wrapped around the spotties, which are under the mud by about two foot. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Lesson learned, I reckon. And the next vehicles will be keeping the end of the winch rope in the driver's cab. 
Soon enough, we've got it sorted though, and the D-Max carves a path through. Woo! Gunshot. She delivers every single year, she delivers. Right, mate, I've been waiting for this moment. Big 62, down gunshot. Is he going to fit? That's the big question. I don't know, but I reckon no matter what we say to him, he's going to give this a go. Right, so 100% he is. I reckon we could put Jesse in charge of giving direction. So <laughs> if all the panels get dented... It's his problem? It's his problem. And his problem. <laughs> and his problem. <laughs> right here, mate. Here we go. How's it looking, Jesse? My angle's a bit... I'd go a bit that way. Yep. Yeah, it's going to self... It's... He's not really going to be able to steer, I don't reckon. Ruben's taken some big cars down gunshot before, but the Y62 might just take the cake. This is a wide car. This is your last chance to back out, Ruben. No backing out, mate. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Look at in the air. It's on the bank. <coughs> is it going to fit? Yeah. Well, it's got to now. It's crazy he can hold himself there. How can Ruben's he hold back himself like still at the top. His oh, back yeah. is only going up now. he was going to do it for a second there, but he fitted like a glove, like a finger in a glove. Holy heck, look at that. You could hardly fit a playing card between the 62 and the wall. We really don't want to risk winching the canopy into the wall, so a straight line pull off the back of the D-Max is going to be the go. And unbelievably, the big Y62 has come through entirely unscathed. Mate, no pressure, but uh, you've got uh, the whole Nissan Toyota debate riding on your shoulders here. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm going to give it a red hot go, that's for sure. Yep, nice and steady, probably, but yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, good luck, mate, good luck. Good line, Bailey, good line. Yeah, hopefully your trailer follows you. We'll see what happens. Yep, that's you, that's you. All right, hold it there, mate, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. <laughs> Holy heck! Nope. That's all she had. So Bales. <laughs> that was a pretty good crack there, but you'll need a quick tug to get him out of trouble. Taking a camper trailer down gunshot is a pretty bold move. But the Mavericks have always handled it, and the trailer follows down neatly as you like. This is it, literally. This is the last one, and, and it happens to be a Toyota. This is our final chance. I know I, I got excited with Bailey before, yep. mate, but I'm putting everything okay, on let's, Toyotas what, on this vehicle driving it. What are we saying here? No one's driven it out yet. No. Everyone's had to winch. I, however, winched and drove the quickest. I was out within so, 30 seconds. So far, you are ahead of the pack. Okay, so Nissan have got it. Oh, I'm getting so out of So far. This could be the equaliser, though. I'm going to go and let one of his tyres down. <laughs> <laughs> right, lining her up. Ready to step her in. That's you, mate. There's perfect line. All right, here we go. Here comes the drop. Boy, that's a steepy. Let's give it a go. Oh, that was yeah. stuck, mate. I think, look, just quietly. Yeah, go on. I reckon the old trucks had that one. I do too. Because you've got it, some nothing but drama. very big and expensive ones. Yep. I know the winch, they can't, you know, <laughs> but the farm truck and the G60, yep. more importantly, first drove through. Within 30 seconds, it was out. Out, gone. What? Yep. What gunshot? Could have been another tick getting a photo right now. Could be, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you've never done it, get down here and have a shot at this because it is as much fun as it looks. It's psycho. Love it. And with that, we're all through, and another old telly challenge is ticked off the list. There's no doubt that driving down gunshot is a brown undies moment, so I don't reckon any of the boys will complain if we look for a swimming spot somewhere. And we've got just the place in mind a little further up the track. I'll tell you what though, there's never a dull moment on the telly.
this right here has got to be one of the best swimming spots in the Cape. How good's this? Always love it when I get a chance to come down here for a swim. This is Fruit Bat Falls, one of the most iconic places in Cape York. And today, conditions are beautiful. Heaps of water, the waterfall's running really hard. But just notice in the shallows, there's a stack of fish life. Wish I brought a mask and snorkel, but watch these, they're a cold grunter. Quite an aggressive little nady fish. Chuck a stick in there, look at them come out. Look at them, there's heaps of them. This place is absolutely wild. There's a good reason why so many Aussies put the cape on their bucket list. And this has got to be one of them. Oh man, how good is this? One of the greatest swimming spots in Australia, I reckon. Bloody Fruit unreal. It is, isn't it? Fruit Bat Falls also marks the start of the northern end of the old telly, home to its most difficult crossings. We're keen to go and find ourselves a camp, but we've got one more big challenge to get through first, the murky and treacherous looking Scrubby Creek. It's notoriously deep, this crossing. It's like a mini gunshot to get into it now too, which is kind of sketchy. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was quite sketchy, there's a lot of mud in there. Oh, the old girl's taking on water, but she loves it. She loves it. Holy heck, that's probably the deepest I've seen that. <laughs> This thing is a weapon! Everything seems very steep these days in Cape York. Oh, everything. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tracks get a lot easier when you send an old missing through first and clear the, <laughs> the mud out so oh, yeah. you can just idle your way across. Uh, oh, he's in. Spirited. Yes, we got it. Oh, it's going under. Oh. Down she goes, the trailer. Follow it on nicely. Thankfully, we're all through the creek with no further dramas, and camp is one step closer. Sean O'Whale, how are you doing back there in the old truck, mate? You right? Look, I'm just smiling from here. Not every day you get to drive a couple of cool old trucks and do gunshot in Cape York. Yeah, mate, that was uh, that was a moment of exhilaration and terror, all built into the same thing. I reckon we get into camp, get a fire going, go for a bit of a swim in the secret swimming hole, and then I'm going to hand life over to you, mate. Mate, sounds good. It sounds like an absolute plan. I'm uh, pretty excited to have a cold beer, just to sort of calm the nerves, mate. Today has been uh, very exciting. Our camp for tonight is another of the favourite old telly spots here at Sam Creek. There's heaps of private campsites along the creek and a secret little swimming spot that we'll be checking out once camp is squared away. And this right here is what makes Sam's Creek so special. A secluded little swimming hole that if you're lucky, you can get all to yourself. Mate, Sam's Creek, we're coming here every year, and I look forward to it every year. What about the second half of the cape, I think, just because Lots of water crossing here, they think lots of swimming opportunities. Yep. <laughs> you just come to places like this, we're all to ourselves. Folks, you've got to come and check out Sam Creek, it is the bomb. It's about that time of day to get the fire going and some dinner on the boil. And with Chef Shauno on the tools, tonight Bailey's getting the Maverick kitchen ready for a messy night. Oi, look at Mate. you go. 
Getting right. ready? I've decided I'm going to commandeer the camper trailer. Why wouldn't you? Well, it's either that or a diesel-soaked tray of a 47 series, mate. So a couple gonna, more things to get. I can offer you a petrol-soaked tray of a G60 <laughs> if you'd like. Have a go at this, folks. You know, we've taken a heap of Maverick campers up the telly before, but this one here has been designed to really handle the tough stuff. They've made it lighter, they've made it shorter, super manoeuvrable. So when you're on the telly, especially with these angles you're getting on, this camper can handle the lot. But it's still fully featured. You get everything you get in a bigger camper trailer, so you've got all the luxury you'd always have with you. But one of the things that, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to camper trailers, you've got to have is good seals. Now down here, classic example, have a look at the mud on that. She's gone underwater, you've seen it happen. But inside, perfectly dry. And as an absolute bonus, these things come out at a really affordable price. One last feature I love, outside kitchen. Why is that important? Sean is cooking tonight, I'm gonna to sit back and enjoy a beer. Folks, the old tally really is as good as it looks. Is this place on your bucket list? Let us know in the comments below. All right, Shawno, show us what you got, mate. Well, right we're here on uh, the infamous old telly track, and to be honest with you, I've done this track a couple of times now, and without a doubt, this is probably my favourite run at the old telly because we've got the farm truck, but more importantly, we've got the old G60. Hey, talking about great things. <laughs> I'm gonna have a really good cook up tonight because I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've been thinking about it. It's a bit of a fusion between- Oh, fusion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Go, chef. I the other day. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a fusion of uh, chicken meats, pasta meats, goodness. And together, Right, they'll I make, have no idea they'll what make you're one of the best things. So, right, what can I do? Well, chicken over there. We're chicken. Get chicken. How come it's gonna... out of the fridge? It always worries me when your well, chicken just, is out of the fridge. I just brought that out. Right, oh. So, I'm going to cook these drumsticks now. Mm. Drumsticks Good. are great I've for many reasons. I, I, I think drumsticks taste amazing. I firstly. think they're the best cut of the chicken. They are super cheap as well. They, they are. They're a budget cut of yep. meat. And now, well, I'm going to show you a little trick here. You need to use this when you're camping because you never want raw chicken when you're out in the bush. So You don't want raw chicken anywhere, anywhere bro. Anywhere, but especially not in the bush, because no. especially in an old truck like ours, mate, you're bouncing around all oh, day. Oh, don't. It makes me feel funny already. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't need that in your life. So what, what we want to do is essentially butterfly these drumsticks. What? We got, yeah, exactly right. So butterfly and these drumsticks will spread the meat out in a nice, even fashion. You know they'll I love cook, that. <laughs> they'll cook a hell of a lot quicker. And also, you got you run less chances of having uh, a little... <laughs> you all right with that? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you all right? So what, what I want to do here is basically just cut it out, and you can do the same. You got a knife there, and I, I just want to find that find that bone in the middle there. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? No, no, you're doing a really good. Is that getting you excited? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm hungry. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I, I want to see how you do this. It's a technical <laughs> process. Mate. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. I want to see how you do this. I just want to basically either side of the bone. <laughs> you want to just and just spread that out like that. <laughs> what? What? It's just simple. It's simple because at the end of the day, on the grill, when it's spread out like that, it's going to cook way quicker. Well, I've been told. <laughs> right, we've, got, go. we've got a couple of Jeez, goes we've got through. a few to go. Oh, it's yeah. just finesse. Yeah, I think it is. There you go, look at that. Just get right either side of the bone. If you can just go down either side so of the like bone, that. split them out like that. How's yours look? Oh, you made a mess of that. No, no that's how you want it. Yeah, that's, that's all right. That's, yeah, you want to split them up? Well, mate, we've, we've, uh, we've uh, splayed these little fillies out oh, like you've never seen. Some of them are a bit rough. Your but, fingers are starting to the wrinkle. Key, the key is, is getting that the much most, moisture down there. <laughs> it really is. It's a lot more moisture than I'm used to. Yes. The thing is, the thing is, splaying these out will actually increase the surface area, make them cook a lot easier. So what I want to do now, basically, just rip a bit of garlic salt over all of these. Yeah, go nuts, mate. Don't be shy on no, this don't one. Don't you be shy. Cayenne pepper. This is, no. this is quite hot, this one, so just be careful. It's up to you. I don't know. Taste buds, how much cayenne pepper you want. I think Bailey does <laughs> hot food very good. <laughs> Whoa, that's spicy. <coughs> parsley? Yeah, a little bit of parsley on top. I'm just gonna go like that. Cause I want to get a smoked paprika. Uh, pepper if you can. Pepper, pepper over a little the bit of pepper. So we're gonna get that onto a barbecue plate. Maybe Lovely. grill it over the flames. Lovely. So coals, flames, we'll grill these. They'll cook a lot quicker than when you do normal 100% they sticks. will. Well, mate, Brennan's good with the chicken. He's yep. getting that turned. We've got Reuben on the pasta. This is a bit That's of a, a team effort tonight. Really is. Now, here's a little tip for you guys. If you've been using a cutting board and you've been raw chicken all over it, the key is, yep. instead of cleaning it, don't waste your time, turn it over. 
<laughs> well, you don't need to clean it if you turn it over. You don't want raw chicken on, on everything. Oh, kids. Now, what are you doing? In the fridge, you just wait here. It was okay. look pretty for a second. <laughs> I can do that. I'm going to give you some cream. Grab that. You'll need that. Oh, sorry, that's looking pretty. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I need uh, some butter. Oh, this is. Oh, there goes. There goes my diet. All right, well, first things first, we've got the heat on. I'm going to put a bit of butter. They are melting straight away. There's a lot of heat well, in that. Well, that's what happened with heat, yep. This is the thing, you've got to appreciate. And you appreciate it so much more when you're driving an old truck. We're here with a Maverick camper. I appreciate a lot of things out of that car. And it, and it's, it is so comfortable to yeah. be able to cook out of this. Yep. Imagine trying to do this in the back of my tray. It's no. full of diesel. I'll be trying to light it. Do the back of yours, you got unleaded. The whole mm. thing will go up. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it'll be horrible. A little bit of garlic. Is there anything in life that smells better than Melted butter and garlic. Fair bit of garlic. Except, you know Put what it I... all in. Put it all in, folks. Don't, don't be shy. You basically just want to get that garlic just simmering until you can smell the garlic. Oh, you really can. And as soon as you can, a bit of stock. We're going to boil that off a bit. Reduction. Yeah. So you're going to turn this into a sauce. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. We'll wait till that starts to boil a fraction. Yep. And then I'm going to chuck a little bit of thickened cream. I'll, I'll get that to reduce down. And the, the more reducing, yep. the thicker it becomes. And some people like thick. And for me, tonight, I'm going for a little thicker. That's T-H-I-C-C. -C. <laughs> yeah, that's looking good. It really is. It needs to Smell, get the heat back good. up. The chicken is nearly done, and Ruben said the pasta was on the way. It was nearly done as well. Okay. Here's the chicken. Put the chicken up here. Boys, get some plates, get some spoons, get some... Stand by. Get your fighting gear ready, because we, we are on. That is going straight in there. That's what I want to see. Unbelievable. Damn. Look at that. Bit of pasta on your Look plates first, boys. Two per every man. Yeah, two per man. Done. How good is that? That is absolutely Yummy. insane. The chicken is like barbecued perfectly. Oh. We've got pasta, we've got a little smoky bit of creamy flavor. sauce, smoky flavours of the Cape York region. Mm. I reckon the only thing we have to do, mate, is probably sit by the fire and you enjoy the, this one. I think the take home message here is to spread them wide, yep. cook them hot, yep. and it tastes so much better. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, don't do it too hot because it'll burn them, but. Oh, you can taste it. Mm. You can taste it. It's our final morning on the old Telegraph track. Ahead of us lies some of the most iconic water crossings in Aussie four-wheel driving, like Cannibal Creek, Logan's Crossing, and of course, the infamous Nolan's Brook. The G60 and the 47 have been pretty evenly matched on the trip so far, and today, there's a bit to play for. Big challenges call for a big breakfast. As always, Reuben and the DMW Kitchen have got us covered. Well, Rube, thanks for that, mate. That was absolutely delicious. No now, worries at all. I'm a big fan of this setup, mate. I want you to tell us a little bit more about the XDR canopy because the way you put this set up, it's obviously different from the top end. We took it across the Northern Territory. You just had the tray package there, mm. which is, you know, the same tray, but now you've got the full-size canopy on this thing. Well, this trip, I just wanted to have something different. Obviously, the XTR canopy just comes as like an open shell inside, so you can kit them out with whatever you like. Yep. This one I've thrown the stage three electrical package and the kitchen, just because the kitchen's so easy to use. Yep. It's just a smick looking setup as you've well. You've got so much. Like, you've got a heap of gear in there, tools and all sorts of stuff, mm. all the stuff you need for a Cape York trip, but you've got two fridges, you've got a kitchen, you've got water on tap, plus mm. full electrical suite. I mean, this is a really well set up canopy. It's it's obviously, you could go away for a weekend, but you could go away for three months at the same time. Oh, could, absolutely. Something. Anything that's gonna hold you up is how much tucker you can take. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, mate, that's right. I noticed you've got a fair bit too, and a few beers in that fridge. You pride yourself on how these things are built, mate. The seals are good? Yeah, absolutely. Well, good, because we're gonna put them to the test today, mate. Some very deep water crossings coming up. Well, I reckon today on the tally, it's probably my favourite part of the whole tally track. This is the day that you do all the big water crossings. So I'm just going to make doubly sure that the old girl is ready to go. Super confident though, because I've done a couple of deep ones so far and she just sort of chugs her way through. So I reckon I'm going to be okay, but got me big rapid snorkel here and I reckon she's going to come into her own. The air box is perfect, not a drop of water in there, which is what you'd expect. I'm just going to spray, spray a bit of lubricant and some water dispersant on my points and bits and pieces down here just to get ready. Kick her in the guts, fire her up, 47 years old. Just doing the tally. Ain't no big thing. Soon enough, camp is packed down and we're almost ready for a huge day ahead. I think a lot of people have got 
A bit of a question when it comes to 12 volt, they maybe want to run a fridge, a set of camp lights, and they don't know what sort of setup to run. So in the farm truck, I've just got a basic, uh, just a lead acid cheap battery, and I've got a Red Arc uh, BCDC charger that's about 25 amps. So that's a real basic setup, and it works a treat, perfect for the weekend. Uh, now obviously on this trip, we've got a lot of different setups. So the camera car, for instance, and Ruben's uh, big Y62 Patrol has the full red vision system with uh, lithium batteries and all that sort of stuff. Those guys could literally go weeks and weeks and weeks in the bush. But for me, I like to keep it simple and it just works. Now, if I check it now, it's been on all night. I've got 65% battery still. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, the big question, will she start? Come on. Come on. You got that. Perfect. First time, every time. The northern end of the telly is chock-a-block full of water crossings and creeks, like this one here at Mistake Creek. It's an easy enough crossing, but the next one can definitely catch you out. Okay, the infamous Cannibal Creek. Infamous because it's got a really sharp right-hand bend in the water. Up she comes. Textbook, textbook, this old truck. The crossing is one thing, but the climb out is also a bit of a challenge. Takes me a couple of goes, but the G60 is all over it. The rest of the convoy is sending it up in style. Well, <laughs> almost. Well, <laughs> Bailey's just taken the most unorthodox line I've ever seen. He's kind of decided to just get off the track altogether and go that way, but that didn't work out for him. So we've got to get him back on the track now, but he'll be having a moment in there, that's good. Deep water is one thing, but if there's a challenge to put the wind up here on this track, it's got to be the log crossing at Cypress Creek. Well, this year Cypress looks pretty crazy. I mean, it actually washed out in the wet, so there was no Cypress bridge. So a couple of the guys who came down the track first up in the season have, have built their own bridge. Um, this year there's a big gap in the middle too, which makes it even more exciting. And to top it off, there's a huge crowd. Big crowd, yeah. <laughs> so look, I reckon, Jesse, you best to spot Graham through. He won't listen to me. Oh, horsepower hero. It's not an all or nothing, this thing. Oh, steering is not exactly your friend, is it? All right, definitely that way. <laughs> it's all sketched out. Look out. No, be silly. <laughs> That's your line. This is one challenge where the smaller the car, the better. Whoa! I don't know how the big patrol's gonna go over that. Yeah, the G60 made it all flex. Yeah. Still gets me hard going like you wouldn't believe. That's a bold line. You can't see anything when you're on there. No. I wouldn't be doing that line. As long as it's. Except for that bit going. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't feel good. Sean's never a fan of heights, so this one is perfect for him. Oh, thank goodness that's over. That's sketchy as. Well, that's the smaller cars, but things get a bit more serious from here. Right. No, just joking, hey! just joking. No, I gave it straight. Um, <laughs> sort of say you're listening. You are. <laughs> I thought he was going to poop that then. <laughs> yeah, now a little bit this way. Oh, no more jokes. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I fully thought he was going to go over the edge. <laughs> That's it. Little bit to me. Little bit to me. 
gonna have to go a long way that way. Holy heck. Bailey's making it over fine, but the line the camper is on is looking pretty sketchy. Yeah, that, that trail I might not want to go though. Hang on. It'll come up, or it won't. Holy dooly. Yeah, yeah, just be real gentle here. Don't look at the crowd's reaction, because they'll wig you out. <laughs> it's a little bit of right hand, get that tire over a bit. <laughs> How's it look on the other side? Yeah, keep going. So straighten up and keep going? Uh, I'll just keep it, keep it to the right a bit. Don't get my swag wet. Hello. You're just hanging on, mate. Yeah, you're good now. Yeah, it's start turning, you'll be almost right. All right, straighten up a bit. Yeah, you can turn. That is my least favourite part of the telly, but we got it done. Holy heck. Up ahead is Logan's Crossing. This is a long and deep run that can lead to a lot of water in the Forby if things go wrong. Well, this is perfect. The guys are following the right protocol to walk the water crossing first. You'd always try and do that whenever you drive through some deep water like this. It's just one thing the boys have probably forgotten. You now, when you drive an old truck, they usually have these flaps at the front here. So by just opening it like that, it's going to ensure that the floor and probably up to the seats is going to be nice and water cooled when Graham drives through. Um, yeah, no need to tell him. He'll figure it out about halfway through that crossing, I reckon. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, little submarine. <laughs> oh, my flaps are open. <laughs> my flaps are open. How are your feet? Is that you? How are your feet? No, Did you hear that? <laughs> They're fully open. <laughs> Ooh, I want to come out of that door. Sean Oak Whale. <laughs> That's actually a good, it's a good prank. I'll give him that. That's a good prank. All right, here we go. Water coming in hard, boys. My <laughs> thongs are floating. Everything's floating. Nice drive, mate. Notice your door flaps are closed. <laughs> oh. Right, eight, and right. Jesse. Get ready to push him if he floats. A bit bumpy in here, the D-Max is eating it up. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, over the bonnet. Go, son! But look at that, he just sails on through. D-Max loved it. Huh? Slow and steady. Oh, it's early. The camper has been handling like a boss so far, and this crossing is no different. Right across. Yeah, mate, that's the plan. Get the bow wave. That's a bow wave. Oh, hey. Well done. <laughs> I was in a bad little bow wave, that one. With Logan's under our belt, we're getting close to the final challenge of the old tally, Nolan's Brook. It's a crossing that's claimed more cars than any other challenge in Australia. And for many travellers, a destination to park up for a few days and watch the carnage. And judging by the water on the way up, this year could be a cracker. And soon enough, we're here, Nolan's Brook. And just as expected, she's looking mighty deep. But to add to the challenge, there's also a live audience. Well, I reckon this is me, mate. This is your line? I think so. What are you going to do when you stop about here? Stop about here? The water goes in the dizzy and all that sort of stuff. There's six, seven, seven, twenty, thirty-two people that can help me. But I'm not even going to look at you and laugh, I reckon, to be honest with you. Who wants to back a car down here and get ready to get me out? <laughs> not a drama. Maybe just get that snap trap just in case. Oh, I've got faith in you. Yeah, you've little faith. It's actually really soft. It is quite soft. Really soft. I want to sit here and dig it up a bit too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put a snap strap on and let's give it a go. Yeah, cool, mate. One of the best things about the Cape is the people you meet along the way. And we've soon got some helping hands on the other side ready to play recovery vehicle should things go pear shaped. Now, the G6 has been going really good through the water. If he does get bogged in here, 
not only will it be quite embarrassing there's a lot of people around, but secondly, the Toyota will definitely be a front end point. So that's really what we're after. We've even got another 40 series up the back there, ready to pull out just in case. So fingers crossed he actually does get stuck. I want to say this. All righty, here we go. As soon as I hit the crossing, the water just comes flooding in. Suddenly, I'm in a world of hurt. Have you got this? Have you got this? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! It's looking very dodgy. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, he just chomped it. Oh no! <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> she mighty wet in here. <laughs> she mighty wet in here. Oh. It's uh, I am mostly flooded. <laughs> oh, it's gross. <laughs> The indignity of it! Might <laughs> 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 be the greatest day of my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you going, Mr. Cahill? Well, I've kept my seats dry for quite some time. That's over. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, over. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it got, it got up to here. Really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it got fully deep. Now, petrols traditionally don't like deep water but the G60 looks to have come through unscathed. If you don't count the seats, that is. I'm gonna have wet jocks for months now. Well, I've definitely lost a few style points there. So here's hoping the 47 doesn't show me up. We're down to our last three fan blades out of a possible thing, eight or 10 or so. We wanna try and keep doing one piece. All right, oh, there's a, oh, I'll put that in pocket, I think. Well, apparently Sean has called it if he drives this. Toyota and this rivalry is over. Toyota will be better and I'll humbly accept it. So let's see how we go. I've never felt so much pressure in all my life after watching Graham sink to the bottom. This is the moment. If I can drive this, I'll be probably the happiest four wheel driver in this country. All right, here we go. What for the crossing? But just like that, the 47 simply motors on through. Oh, the Toyota is done. I was coming back, I put the same stuff in. That is wrong, mate. How good is that? That is probably the best drive I've ever done in my life. Well, mate, humbly, in front of everybody here, Toyotas are still pretty, but today you're the victor. Not just today, mate, but I think Cape York agrees that this is, <laughs> oh, this is Land Cruiser. Keep it short, mate. This is Land Cruiser country, mate. As long as you're having fun, getting the most out of life. Next time I suggest I go in front and you learn a few tips. In fact, tonight around the fire, I'll buy you a beer and teach you a couple of things. Where's he going? <laughs> With the old trucks through, it's time for the rest of the convoy. Oh, 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 look at oh, him, guys. That's all technique, nice and smooth. Bone dry. Well, that's all to mate. Probably another victory dance coming up, so <laughs> I'll just get ready now and start stretching. Yeah, you know, I'm not making excuses here, but I stuffed up that royally. Wish I hadn't gone that line. I wish I'd come across here. Well, yeah. Yeah, hindsight's 2020, though. Yeah, reading the bush, you spent a bit of time under the stars, mate, like oh. us. You, you tend to get an oh. idea for these things. Right, What's this, your 11th time up here? Yeah, all right. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard enough. Let's send the big cross through and hope you can make it. <laughs> I'll fully give you the win if he does this. Right on. With that, I reckon, it's safe to say the Toyotas have taken this one out in a clean sweep. Well, mate, it never fails to, 
for me <laughs> disappointment. I was, I was just thinking, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't driven this in like seven years. You've been bogged every time. Every time. You don't need to call it Nolan's Cross, you call it Kale's Crossing. Oh, I man. <laughs> I'm gonna build a truck just for this crossing. Just for this one. And it's gonna be called a boat. You've had a little bit of bad luck, mate, but look, you should take a little bit of solace in the fact that all the Toyotas drive it through, all the Toyotas drive everything, and um, pretty much I'll just put this down as a Toyota victory. All jokes aside, it's been a total blast on the telly this year, and to conquer it in a couple of old classic rigs just makes it all the sweeter. And to top things off, I've just scored a replacement fan for the 47. Oh, it's like magic! It's growing <laughs> back! It's a brand new one! Look at that! Here's the old one. Oh, goodness me. And I tell you what, where is he, Jake? Go on over, look at this. He, he helped both of us out on this trip. You see, he pulled Graham out of strife when yeah, he was he did. stuck in Nolan's. Yep. He also carries a lot of spares. He understands 40s. He knows what goes wrong with them. Mate, I'd like to give you my second-hand one. <laughs> oh, we're, 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 trade. we're both signed it. That'll be a nice little mantelpiece for the oh, shed. Oh, so spare. <laughs> we'll give you some beers too. Don't worry about <laughs> that. Sure, <laughs> sure, mate. He's given you a brand new fan. You've a broken one you ride on. Well, yeah. <laughs> you can't like, you take that for warranty anymore, mate. Good I appreciate gracious. that. That's really cool. Well, I've got to say, that. I haven't broken anything on this trip, mate, so I'm going to continue on ahead of the convoy. Proudest punch, I'll let hey, you do... Do I need to go back in front of you in case you need <laughs> He wouldn't like He's that. He's actually... Touche, I'll take that. <laughs> I actually, just off camera before, I actually got bogged up here. I didn't get pulled out. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm having a bad day. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, brother. Just like that, the old tally is almost done and dusted. It's always bittersweet finishing this track, but our Cape adventure is far from over. The old tally is often the route for travellers on the way to the tip of Cape York. But this year, we've got another huge track planned further south. So we're heading back down the dirt to Bramwell Station for a well-earned beer before we start our next adventure. Bramwell is always a welcome sight after a dusty few days on the road, and you'll never fail to meet a few new friends each time you visit. Well, how's this? We made it to Bramwell Station. Only just. Just. And <laughs> you know what? This has been one of the best Cape trips ever. And yep. I'm just about to say, Toyotas are way better than Nissan's because that's been proven time and oh. time. Well, I don't want to say that tonight because I don't want to embarrass anyone. <laughs> what I want to say is it doesn't matter what car you drive. No! As long as you get up here to the Cape and just Mate. have a go because we've had the time of our lives. Between the two of us, we've got about 80 years in our trucks. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the old G60, nothing is broken down. The only thing that's really let it down is the nut behind the wheel, which is me. <laughs> well, if we can do it in our trucks with nothing more than a swag, we had one each, let's just get that straight. <laughs> Couple of beers and we can do the tally track. Anyone can do the tally track and I reckon the folks behind me would agree. What do you reckon, folks? Yeah! Tally track! Yeah! It's unanimous. It's that good that we're not stopping right now. We're not here. stopping right now. We've still got another couple of ventures coming up in the Cape. We're not going home for another month or so yet. So, folks, catch us. Where? Next time on Full Drive 24 7. Cheers, again, guys. Again, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. on. This has been an adventure we'll never forget. But trust me, things only get wilder from here. Water coming in hard. Holy heck! Wow. Off we go. Mate, it's a lovely sight to send a couple of old rigs on the Frenchman. It's one of those things right so in the middle close. there. It's actually up to my neck. Going so hard I can't stand up. Go! Go! Oh! Oh! I've got no brakes. Right, up, Shauno's up in the farm truck. I didn't make it out by under my... Can't speak today. <laughs> What's going on? Someone give me a beer. All right, ready? There you go. Good, how you going? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yeah, good. Come around here much? Mate, who's this bloke? <laughs> I'm not too sure. He's quite friendly, though. <laughs> Go on! I'm fucking... Ah! Yeah! Do you know how to operate that kind, sir? Just like to show you all what our producer does while we're down here in the at the coal face. Just sits up high and plays with his gimbals. Comfy up there, bro? Ooh, he doesn't like being filmed. I secretly think he did something. I think he's seen parts of the world that most of us can only dream of and done things that we read in spy novels. The oil companies have got a grip on the government, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's a creeper. <laughs> it's not that Crocs are not the only danger in here, folks. <laughs> what end are you putting your head up, bro? <laughs> well, you're right there, are you? <laughs> right there. Okay. <laughs> well, you're the same movie tonight. <laughs> I thought this was coot cam though. Yeah. Well, import it that way. How? <laughs> <laughs> Does that thing bite you? Yeah? It'll ruin your world. Really? Mm. Yeah. No. They, they actually call it the chili scorpion because when it bites, it 
injects right, the pain that's so intense, it's right, like man, a Carolina man. Reaper. It's like the chili flavor. <laughs> Look at this handsome man coming in to give me a bit of <laughs> I've never seen someone not be able to drive so many things on 37s. <laughs> For those of you that live on the upside of town, namaste. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two. It's the pop that you're never ready for. Oh, uh, yeah, hug it out. Come on. Try it over, yeah. Graham. You'll never oh, look that's so good. <laughs> Can that never see the light of day, please? <laughs> Three, two, two one. one, go! Oh. Bang! Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was weird, folks. Don't do that to your mates. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, righto. Shake it out. <laughs>